Young Jedi Adventures, Season 1, Episode 18, Thoughts. This episode is called The Great Leaf Glide slash The Harvest Feast. Yeah, another quite good episode. Spoilers for the show so far. And, uh, yeah, since this show is for children, this video will not have any... You know, I'm not going to get into anything that is inappropriate for children. So, let's dive right in. So, yeah, um, they're going to learn, the, the younglings are going to learn about skimming, cloud skimming, something, you know. And I love that, you know, Master Zia says, you know, a big part of becoming a Jedi is learning about different cultures. Love that. That's a really good value to teach young children. And yeah, uh, you know, it's basically, it's Star Wars surfing. So, of course, it's slightly different. And it's surfing in the air instead of surfing on waves. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, I think that would, like, they could they could put this in a video game or something, you know. They, they could, yeah, you know, maybe maybe while you're doing that, yeah, yeah, you could have something where you're using it to, like, you know, maybe you're being attacked and you gotta dodge laser blasts or something. Maybe you're using a lightsaber or blaster yourself while on. Just, yeah, that could that could definitely be a thing. Maybe maybe they're, they're like, putting it out there and seeing if, if people are into it. Though if that is the case, it's, you know, this is not exactly the most high-profile test. And yeah, um, you know they're taught, they're told to work with the wind, and they are reluctant to do so until later in the first half of the episode. And you know, yeah, that's the big message here. And yeah, the the early on the you know they're taught some people ride chiffons, and later they try to as well and and yeah you know finally they come to the realization any way the wind blows doesn't really matter to me and yeah um not a terrible segment not really you know i think it was a little i think there could have been more to it it really felt like it was a segment written by an adult who has, like, a six-year-old kid that this adult really wants to get into surfing, but they're really concerned that they're not going to listen. But, you know, here it's work with the wind. I don't know very much about surfing, but the one thing I've heard repeated in a bunch of different media is, you know, you, have, you can't fight the wave. You have to... Go with the wave. You have to let the wave take you where, you know. Yeah, I think this might have been a way for them to, for this adult to teach their, their kid about this. And let's see. Yeah, so um, surfing apparently originated in Polynesia so it is very cool to have you know yeah again e expanding the horizons of the, the kids watching and that brings us to the second part which I do think is definitely better than the first the the harvest feast storyline and yeah, um, we learn that, that uh, let's see, Tay and Ruug, played by Christopher McDonald, always great to see, well, hear him, and yeah, they, they have, they had a falling out, you know, which I feel there's, the thing about, like, two members of a family having a falling out. There's a lot of media for children that has that. And fair enough, 
that is something that they might experience and maybe can be like you know healed there's a lot of problems that children obviously can't do anything about and and problems that they might face that you know no individual can really do anything about you know it, it might be more that like the adults watching the show with their kids are you know yeah supposed to see that and be like wait have I alienated a member of my family that I could I don't know if they would really listen to their kids saying I miss grandpa now because a lot of people don't listen to kids and I'm not saying that they never have you know bad ideas but we gotta get better at listening to them I will say um, once they get to the farm and one one of the droids is like trying to unload the the gourd you know some of it was just fine there's a little bit that kinda got me chuckling you know at, at one point like the I think AG3 like puts the gourd down, you know, tr trying to lift it, doesn't really work, puts it down, and then, like, moves to the side, like, almost, like, <laughs> it reminded me of, like, when, when people are, are trying to, like, maybe, maybe, like, a lion tamer or something, like, you, just, you know, oh, just, like, the, the kind of trying to soothe an animal before doing a thing, just, yeah. And, let's see. Yeah, and and yeah, one one of the the droids, you know, drops the the Gordon ends up hanging off the the side of the cliff, and you know Kai like grabs his hand. He's like, "I got you." One hundred percent agreed. You got him. Question is, how? It's a giant hulking metal thing. How is a six year old holding it up? Like honestly, if it had been like he grabbed him with the force, but. The fact that he grabs it with his hand, just, anyway. And, uh, yeah, they, you know, the, there's a theme in this story of tradition. And, you know, we, we see that, you know, Rug, he needs help, but he's uncomfortable asking about it. And that, again, is something that's, that's a really good value to instill upon young kids. You know, if if you think, you know, a, a senior frickin' citizen is is dealing with issues that they can't solve themselves, yeah, you know, maybe you offer to help, may, maybe you try to get your, your parents to offer to help, you know, some, something like that, that's, yeah, um, you know, aging is, is difficult, and it's, you know, a lot of people struggle to come to terms with things that they used to be able to do that they now just can't. One of the droids is named AG1, which I believe means that at some point we're going to see Cody Johnston trying to chug it. And yeah, really great ending with, you know, Tay says, I love traditions. But what's the point if they don't include everyone? And that, again, fantastic message. You know, there's so many traditions here in the West that were started by white people, some of them specifically to hurt non-white people. That's not the case for all of them, but a lot of them, yeah, they exclude the people that, yeah, you know, from, from other cultures. I remember when I was younger, I heard someone, you know, say, oh, you know, it's it's too bad that my kids don't get to celebrate Christmas and, at school anymore. And I, I don't think I said it, but I was just thinking, yeah, but what about all the Muslim kids? They're going to feel excluded. Like, find a way to celebrate that includes everyone, you know. And, and then nobody's telling you not to celebrate Christmas at home. It's just... Yeah, in a in a institution that's supposed to serve everyone, you should not be favoring anyone over anyone else. So, and and especially not the majority over minorities. 
you know, we have to lift up minorities. That's our responsibility as majority. Yeah, um, quite good episode. Uh, let's see. So there's one more that has already aired and let's see oh that's right okay supposedly um, in a week we'll get more episodes and let's see yeah and it looks like it'll be roughly one per week until we until all 25 of them have to hit Disney Plus. So, yeah. Um, I'm definitely doing the, the next one next week. Probably going to be in uh, six days? Six days or eight days, something like that. I will see if I do the... the I'm definitely going to eventually do the, the upcoming ones. I don't know if it's going to be right away. But, yeah, more Star Wars in about a week.